So good morning, everyone. Very nice to see you. How are you today? Good? Really wonderful. So nice to see you this morning, huh? Oh, uh, well, um, last week, we had a great talk, Reverend Harada. He explained how to listen. Remember? Remember? Right? So, he explained how to listen to the Dharma message. Right? And this is our practice. Let's listen to Dharma message for yourself. For yourself. Okay? So this morning, I want to talk about the one of the favorite children's story. The title is The Tears of Dragon. You see the picture a little bit? Small. Can you see it? I hope you can see it, okay? And what happened is, um, my mother was a kindergarten <laughs> before she married to my father. And she was born in Kyoto, I was born in Kyoto. But somehow, she got a job and a kindergarten teacher in Jodo Shinshu Shin Buddhist Temple in Okayama. So she was teaching small children. And uh, after, she helped me. She always gave me a lot of children's books. At that time, there is no ebook, anything, right? These days, uh, all the children wants to see the screen ebooks. But when I was a child, many, many years ago, I want to tell how many years ago, but I had a lot of books. So this is one of the books I had. I still have it. This is a Tears of Dragon. Yes, tears. You know tears? Sometimes you cry, do you? Tears of a dragon. So I want to talk about this story. Okay? So, you know what dragon is? Have you ever seen a dragon? Do you see dragon in the zoo? No. <laughs> dragon is kind of like a mythical, right? kind of monster and gigantic reptile. Yeah, long tail, big mouth, big eyes, flying around. Okay, that's the kind of story I tell you today. All right, so you can see, follow my story. Actually, this uh, the story is made by Hamada Hiroske. Hiroske Hamada. Uh, he is a very famous children's writer, children's uh, story writer in Japan. So I translate it. Okay? So let's enjoy the story. You see the picture? Yeah, you see? Okay? Back there is okay? You see okay? Right. Yeah, I think this picture is, is sort of the story in China. Uh, very nice, beautiful clothing hat they were wearing. And there was a country, county, in the south area, probably in China. And there was a big dragon was living. You can imagine what kind of dragon it is. And the other people told children, behave well, or the big dragon will take you to the mountain, and you will not be able to come back to this village. The children were very afraid of the dragon. Okay? So the big dragon was living deep in the mountain. You see that? The kind of green, and you see some kind of big, long tongue. And his eyes are big as a basketball, right? Big, big. And his mouth was wide from right ear to left ear. <laughs> How do you see? Can you imagine? And his tongue was long just like a burning fire. <sighs> that kind of dragon. He was living in the mountain. Even though the dragon looked so fearful, there was a child named Lily, who was never afraid of the dragon. So Lily felt sorry for the dragon because he was feared and avoided by the people. So one night, Lily was crying in bed. 
Her mother asked Lily, "Lily, what's wrong with you? Do you have any tummy ache?" Lily said, "No." Her mother asked Lily again, "So, what are you crying for?" Lily said, "I feel so sorry for Dragon. He is lonely. He has no friends." So her mother said, "Oh, don't cry, Lily. Your birthday coming up soon next week. Let's have a nice birthday party. Who do you want to invite to?" Lily immediately said, "I want to invite the dragon." She wants to invite the dragon. So next day, Lily went home and started looking for the dragon. In the mountain, she goes, "Dragon, big dragon, where are you? Where are you?" Right? And Lily walked far and became very tired. She leaned against a tree and took a nap. Later, she called again, "Dragon, big dragon, where are you? When you hear my voice." Please answer me. And Dragon finally heard Lily calling him. Dragon was puzzled. Hmm, what is that? Is that a human voice? People never call me. Instead, they always fear and avoid me. Who on earth is calling me? Dragon finally answered to Lady, "Who is calling me? What do you want?" Lady said to the Dragon, "Hi, Dragon. Thank you for quick responding me. It's very nice to see you and meet you today. I have been looking for you a long time." Dragon said, "What do you want?" Lady said. I don't want anything from you. I just want to invite you to my birthday party next week. Can you come? Dragon looked up, confused, and said, "Am I invited to your birthday party?" The dragon kept looking at Lily. In the meantime, tears came out. From his big eyes. Are you sure you want me to come to your birthday party? Lily said, "Yes, please come." Dragon said, "Oh, I have hated people because they were never, never kind to me. So I cried loud." And open my big mouth, and I show my red tongue to scare people. But now I will stop doing that. So he was crying. Dragon is crying. Big tears coming up from his eyes. And. The tears become a river, and the lady has to. Well, I'm gonna get drowned. Well, help me! I have to fall into the tree. And dragon said, "Oh, sorry, get on my back." And dragon placed Lily on his back and started swimming in the river of tears. Dragon said to Lily, "And I am very, very happy. I have never been happy all my life. I will become a dragon ship and carry many children. I want to be helpful to others and make this world a better place to live."
So Lily returned to his village and riding on a dragon's boat. And the villagers were very surprised to see her standing on the dragon's boat. Her birthday party will be tomorrow. This is a story of the tears and dragon. Got it? Got it? You liked it? Did you listen to the story? Yeah, really? Very good, very good. So, as I said, they're trying to listen to the essence of this story. Everybody has a different perspective, understanding, I think. But what if you are a lily? Do you invite the dragon to your birthday party? Do you? What if you're a dragon? How would you feel? Right? This is how to listen to the Dharma message. What if me happening that thing to me? What would I do? Right? So before encountering the Jodo Shinshu Shin Buddhism te teaching, I think I was just like a dragon. I was a dragon. Um, living alone by myself in my old and in my own world. Sometimes I complain a lot <laughs> and never appreciate what I had, what I received. And I received the Amida Buddha's invitation many, many times, many times. But I was not ready to receive, and I rejected, and I never believed it. That was me. Huh. But finally, luckily, I was able to receive it. I was ready to receive it with open my heart and mind. So, I'm in a Buddha's invitation. The invitation is very simple. We want you to be truly happy. We want you to fully live your one-time life. That's the message. So finally, invitation came to me, and I was able to receive it, and I was able to appreciate it. And I received it. It's very interesting. New world opened up. Wow, this is a totally different world. I don't have to stay in my own world anymore. That's what the Jodo Shinshu world, ooh, open up for you. Totally different perspective, right? That's a really new spiritual world, open up for you. In the meantime, I felt I want to do my best within my capacity, and I want to joy of whatever I receive with others, with others, with everybody in Sangha. That's how I receive from this story. So this dragon, tear of dragon, is a very, very simple story, but has a deep meaning when you listen to deeply, right? So this is how we listen to Dharma message. And this is the part of our practice 
as Asian Buddhist as well. Okay, well, everybody listening to the message very well today. I love the children's stories. And whenever I have a time, I want to translate whatever I receive. And sometimes European stories are very interesting. Sometimes Japanese stories, of course, American stories are very interesting. I think that's very important to share the Buddha Dharma with the small children. Dharma school is very, very important. And it will all come to the temple. Temple will provide you a wonderful spiritual place where you can touch Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, your friends. Right? Thank you very much for listening to the message today. All right. So, Jimmy, guys, show. Okay. No money, no money, no money.